Hi there, my name is Dawn Devine and welcome to my studio. Today is day three of my belly dance makeup challenge and the theme for today is stage makeup. Now I tried something a little different today. I went over to Facebook and shot a Facebook Live where I actually applied every single layer as I talked about the products and why I was making the choices I was making. So if you want to go and check out the step-by-step -step application that is over on my Facebook which is set public so anybody can go there just look up Dawn Divine Davina you'll find me so instead of demonstrating this makeup I'm going to do a demo of how to put on a stage worthy headdress and um, without further ado let me tell you about my makeup first number one I always use two layers of foundation. I put on my liquid foundation first and then I set it with a full coverage powder makeup. Instead of using something translucent, lucent, lucent, instead of using something translucent, I use something with a lot of coverage. I like this NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat, um, which is just a shade light, a shade darker than my actual skin tone. And I completely cover my whole face with that really setting my makeup. I put on a little bit extra too, just to allow it to blend and meld a bit like the baking technique, but not quite as much powder. Then I put on all my color, um, makeup products going for a more graphic sculptural effect. So my cheeks are more chiseled, my lips are slightly overdrawn, and my eyes are completely filled in. You can see my eyebrows basically disappear. Don't have very much distance between my eyelash and my eyebrows because I have deep set hooded eyes. So I have literally just filled it in with a row of black and a row of sort of a purpley mauvey color that coordinates with my um, robe. So I've also used much bigger eyelashes than I would in a smaller venue. Although some dancers go for the, go for it, like wear big eyelashes everywhere. If you only wear false eyelashes occasionally, save it for the big stage, go big or go home. I put mascara on my eyelashes. I put a lot of coats of mascara on and my eyelashes coated with mascara support the weight of these very large eyelashes. So just a, a tip. Now, since I've already done my makeup look on Facebook Live, I'm going to do a demo of how to tie a stage worthy headdress. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing an a suit robe here. Let me stand up with quite a bit of jewelry. Hey there. And I am going to put a headdress on that will add volume to my head and help make me larger than life. So I always start with a square of cotton on my head. In this case, it's a bandana with little skulls and stuff, but anything will do. I use a bandana because I know I'm going to get makeup along this line and they're easy to wash and easy to care for. If you're concerned about your um, head cloth showing, choose a head cloth that supports the rest of your headdress. So. I should be using a black head cloth, but we're going with what I've got. The next layer is the volume layer. So I'm using a black pashmina shawl, just the kind that you can get anywhere during the winter. They're very affordable. It doesn't have to be actual pashmina, but it's a pashmina style scarf. These are easy to come by. You can wash and wear them until they wear out. Know that there'll be another available from a store nearby. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over my head and position it with a fold right along my upper edge. Then I'm going to take the two ends and make sure that they are equal. So it's hard to do with this video in this place. And I'm going to give them a little twist. I'm twisting outward until it looks like I have ponytails right there, pigtails. Now I'm going to take them behind my neck and I'm going to trade sides. At this point I'm going to make any adjustments like allowing my ears to show and making sure that the whole back of my head is covered with this. If, if it's not, my hair might poke out, which maybe might be the style I'm going for, or the base cloth will show. And in this case we definitely don't want the base cloth to show. So now I'm going to come forward and I'm going to tuck my pieces in now. Don't go too tight because you don't want to give yourself a headache. 
nor do you want to go too loose. This is definitely a case of practice makes better. Maybe not perfect, but better. So once I have all of the loose little ties in, some people uh, cut those off. I sometimes use them as part of my look. I'm going to adjust my, my hairline until I have it doing something nice. There you go. So this is my headdress base. Next, I'm going to take a piece that coordinates with my robe. It's just a small little scarf. It's only a few inches wide. Frankly, this is a scrap. I cut a piece off of a regular size shawl, uh, a suit shawl. And then I'm going to put this on starting in the back today. This could also start in the front, but today I'm starting in the back and I'm going to come around the turban and cross in the front. This will leave me a black triangle in the front. And then I'm going to roll the, grab the, the shawl with my fingers and tuck and roll the shawl into place. Now fabric grabs, and so the cotton fabric of the base of the uh, suit and the cotton, you know, some sort of blend, but this cotton, cottony, woolly, textured cloth will marry very well and hold in place. But if you are concerned, you could install some pins to make sure that your layers stay in place. I have two kinds today. I have a little faux crystal and a little, a little faux pearl, you can see, and they're just two inch long corsage pins. I like to have them look a little pretty because pretty is always good. Now, at this point, this would be a great turban to wear in a smaller environment where you don't need as much volume and height as you would on a stage, but I'm gonna take it one step bigger by adding a black shiny suit panel, and I'm going to repeat the steps. I'm going to center it at the back of my neck, and then I'm going to bring it up, but slightly to the outside of my red turban, crossing behind the red turban, and scooping up and around the back. And because this one happens to be a bit longer, I'm going to just give it a tie. And then I'm going to make it pretty by standing in front of the mirror and folding and folding and folding and folding and folding and folding. And you can see how from my face, I've added this much um, volume to my head. And in order to fully embellish it. I'm going to add a necklace. Now I'm wearing a sort of traditional uh, style Middle Eastern necklace, you know, one of those faux boho things that you can get at Forever 21. Really affordable. And I'm going to take another and put it on the top of my turban. So I'm going to use the turban pins to pin these into place. And I really want these to be well pinned. I want to go through a bunch of places to keep it anchored. Now you are at very little risk at this point of, um, of, of stabbing yourself if you, if, you, if you pin across the surface of your, of your turban. If you, if you go straight in, of course, you'll turn yourself into a pin cushion and you should be very careful of, of doing that. Um, if you don't think you have enough pins, you can add more to make sure that you are totally set. So I'm going to put one in there and I'm going to put one in here. And so my, I think I bought this necklace for $12. You know, I have the Peshmina shawl that I got it. I bought it at Walgreens for five, and then I have two pieces of a suit, one that's very affordable. Um, it's just a slice cut off of a regular shawl that, that they run between 40 and $60 these days. But this guy, this sparkly shiny guy was a little bit more expensive and um, a little bit, uh, a little bit pricey. I think I paid about 140 for him. And I hope that you enjoyed watching me put this headdress on. If you are going to do a headdress like this, I recommend that you get the parts and pieces and do some quality practice and then rehearse in your costume. 
This changes the weight of your body during spins. And if you, if I lift my head back, I want to make sure that I know when things are going to fall, how things are going to move. So be sure to integrate a costume construction like this into your practice before you do a performance so you're not losing a major component in a spin. Thank you so much for joining me on my 31 day belly dance makeup challenge. Today's look of stage, big stage worthy makeup along with a big stage worthy headdress um, is appealing to you and instructive and I hope that you'll give building a head edifice, a head edifice, a try sometime. Just get the parts and pieces together, practice until it feels comfortable. Watch this video and there are many, many more videos on how to put turbans and headdresses on. So there's plenty of inspiration out there in YouTube and in the greater web beyond. If you like what you saw today, be sure to hit subscribe, ring that bell if you would like notifications. Leave me a message if there's something that you are interested in me demonstrating in the next 27 days of this project. I'll be happy to help you um, improve your makeup if you let me know what you need. In the meantime, I'm going to go and take a shower and wash it all off because today is Saturday and I'm looking forward to sitting on the couch in my PJs. So. Have a great day and I'll see you.